and good morning. Welcome to Energy Rhythms. This is your host and friend, Arthi Gupta, where we talk about various topics and we invite one wonderful guests to our studio. So our today's guest, his name is Mr. Julian Touchstone, and he is a certified home stager, and the name of his business is Specialty Staging and Design which he had established in 2013. He obtained a BS degree from the Art Institute of Philadelphia in 2012. So without further ado, let us introduce Mr. Julian R. Touchstone. Thank you so much, Mr. Touchstone, for coming into our studios despite your busy and hectic schedule. Thank you for having me. Now, you had mentioned um, in your um, in your bio profile that you are a certified home stager. Can you um, elaborate or give more detail as to what do you do for your occupation? Absolutely. Well, I'm also an interior designer, uh, primarily residential, but not limited to commercial. I do some commercial, but it's mostly residential that I do. Uh, as far as the home staging, I became a certified home stager in 2014. Okay. Okay, reason being is anyone can move furniture around and put you know, little tchotchkes around and say they're a home stager, but mm -hmm. you actually need to be certified in order to be taken seriously in the business. I see. So, so do you believe that the the training and that you obtained from the Art Institute of Philadelphia, do you think that had made you, um, I should say, did that give you a better level in how you're conducting your business now today? Ab absolutely. Uh, again, you can go to school and take courses and say you're a designer, but the degree is what backs you up. Mm -hmm. So. Tell me a little, about, little more as to what made you get into um, this profession. Okay. Well, as far back as I can remember, I've always liked looking at houses, touring houses, and I've always liked looking at floor plans. I originally wanted to be an architect, but once I got into it, like the first few semesters were a little too structured for me, and I wanted to get right into it. So I didn't have the patience for it. So I. I kind of like took a break from school, got married, had children, went to work, and then um, I worked in New York for 26 years, and then I took an early retirement, and I decided to go back to school. Very nice. So, um, so the name of your website is www.specialtystaging.com? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm very curious to know, it's a very catchy name, what got you into, like, to that name? Well, I wanted something different, and it started out as Julian Touchstone Interiors, and uh, someone said, that sounds a little stodgy. So I decided to go with the word special, the letter T, and then staging and uh, design. I figured that would catch people's eye. Yeah, definitely. It, it definitely did arouse my attention <laughs> on the heads. So. So, um, according to the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, uh, the interior design is the art and science of understanding people's behavior to create functional spaces. So, Julian, can you, um, like, how do you approach this concept and philosophy for your clients? What I like to do with a person, I like to get a feel for them, what type of personality mm -hmm. they have what their likes are, what their dis dislikes are, mm -hmm. and that's how I base it, that's how I base my design theory. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, so, like, for example, like, let's suppose I come in and I say I want to get my home staged. Is, right. Is that the term? Or is that right? Yeah. And, like, what is the whole process? Can you, like, explain to our viewers, like, the, from the beginning to the end of that process? All right. Okay, I'm going to use you as a hypothesis. Say you have a house that you want to sell, mm -hmm. it's, it's vacant, or you may have furniture in it. What I'll do is I'll ask you a series of questions. Mm -hmm. You know, 
I'll ask you, are you going for a certain style? Is there a certain theme that you want? Do you wish to be involved in the staging process at all? Some clients, they like to be involved in the staging process. Mm -hmm. And then there are other clients, they just say, do your thing, you know, just, you know, just make it look good. Mm -hmm. But there are some clients that like to be involved. So I would, I would ask you a series of questions. Okay, and then from there you will then go with the floor plan and how to arrange the furniture. Yeah, I would, if you, if you already, you, right, you right, use. right, yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. I know, um, like I said, it's very difficult to have a typical day, but can you describe to us what it is like to be an interior designer? Well, it, it does vary. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get clients that are, you know, well, I won't say perfect, but sometimes you get clients that are smooth, cooperative, mm -hmm. and you love them to pieces. And then you'll get clients that are challenging at best. <laughs> and I'll leave that. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll leave that part. That's the fill in the blanks part. Right. Because, <laughs> like I said, I mean. Like you said, there is so much involved um, that it's, like I said, both parties have to cooperate with one another. And like I said, you're giving, you're providing a service right. for the client. So like I said, it's, you got to come to, I should say, middle ground. Pretty much, yeah. Um, as to you providing the service and they being, um, the client being that, okay, I'm okay with your creativity, you know. Or I want this and this and this or whatever they want for right their, for their home right so guys we are in chat with Julian Touchstone who is a certified home stager and interior designer and we are actually going to be continuing our conversation right after this short commercial break so stay tuned welcome back to energy rhythms we are in conversation with Julian Touchstone, who is a certified home stager and a interior designer. So Julian, before we went to break, um, like I said, um, it's very interesting, um, seems like the way you are dressed also, you are a very creative person. Um, and like, did you have this passion of staging homes for clients? like? I mean, did you do this before, or did this just happen now? Well, it actually happened um, a few years ago, right after, in fact, uh, right after I got out of design school. Okay. You no, know, I have a friend in Philadelphia that he owns several properties, mm -hmm. and some of the houses he buys and he flips them, and then some of the properties he rents out. Well, long story short, he had a three-bedroom row house in the northeast section of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And he let me look at it. I said, just for ha-ha's, I said, well, why don't you let me stage it for you? So he said, sure. Well, he let me stage it. And I didn't, you know, I had what furniture. I had just some basic furniture and some artwork. And he said the first couple that walked in gave him an offer. And that's wow. what made me, that's what made me pursue it. Wonderful. That's great. So, um... I'm sorry, what I, what I wanted to say was, so what, when you say staging, can you like share with our viewers, like is it like you, do you rent furniture or do you have your own furniture that you provide for staging the home? Well, the I have my own furniture, you know, some pieces are acquired and some pieces were given to me. That's what sets me apart from other stagers. I have my own furniture. A lot of stagers, they rent their furniture. I see. And I have my own furniture, artwork, window treatments, the whole nine yards. Oh. Goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So it's now, are you originally from, um, you said, I think if I remember, you originally did say you are from North Jersey? Yes, I'm originally from Newark. Newark, okay. Yeah. Yep. So do you handle the tri state area with this? Like, do you go places for? Um, staging? Pretty much I uh, handle the tri-state area. Okay, yeah. pretty much. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware. Okay. Now, another question I wanted to ask is, 
Is there any difference between, because I hear interior designer, I hear interior decorator. Is there any difference between the two? And if there is any difference, um, can you tell us what the difference is? Oh, surely. Um, an interior decorator, they pretty much, they pick out fabric, wall coverings, window treatments, and paint selections. Okay. Interior designers do that as well, but the difference between the interior decorator and the interior designer is the designer gets into the nuts and bolts, so to call it. Okay. Uh, we do, yeah, floor plans, space planning, um, measurements. Uh, we also do, we, we're also involved in selection of fabrics and finishes, but like we do like the drawing, the drafting, we like the, the heavy stuff. So there's more responsibilities for the designer compared to the decorator. Yes, I'm like I'm not knocking. I'm not taking anything away from interior decorators. You know? Okay. They, you know, they have a job to do too, and right. I'm not minim minimizing the, you know their work. Okay. But it kind of irks me when <laughs> people <laughs> get me confused with an interior yes, decorator. Yes, I like me like personally, I thought it was the same thing. That's yeah. Why I well, to, I'm glad you I'm glad you asked me that question. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like I said, I wanted to get that confusion out because like I said, I thought it was the same because um, I mean, designing and decorating, I think Well, there are a lot of interior designers who like to concentrate on the decorated work and, and that's cool. I, you know, I have, you know, mm -hmm. that's cool. I have no problem with that. I like to, I like to do it all. So folks, we were in chat with Julian Touchstone. He's an interior designer and a certified home stager. And if you ever do need to get your home sold, please do contact him. Um, he's the guy you need to uh, speak to about this. And he can be reached at area code 609-695-4499. Again, the telephone number again is 609-695-4499. Or you can reach him on his website, which is www.specialt staging.com. Julian, can you tell me, or our viewers as well, like what sets you apart? Um, you did mention that it's because of your furniture, your, um, the style of work that you do. But besides that, can you tell us like what sets you apart from the other interior designers that are out there? Okay, I'd like to say what sets me apart from the other designers. I, I prefer to take the personal approach. I like to know my clients. I don't like to just walk into a person's house and mm -hmm. uh, just take measurements. I like to know the person that I'm working like with. Like the personality, what yes. style they prefer, exactly. what colors, and what they like. Right. That's, like I said, the more I believe that um, both parties have to be engaged in the conversation. Definitely. And like, like I said, it's you're benefiting both of the parties. Like I said, you're providing that service, and they are um, getting that service from you, which sets you apart from the other designers out there. Right. So we are actually going to be now taking a short break. Uh, so stay tuned and you stay right there. Welcome back to Energy Rhythms. We are in conversation with Julian R. Touchstone, who is a interior designer in the Tri-State area, as well as a certified home stager. Can you tell us, Julian, um, what um, I should say consulting fees or staging fees that you um, have for the clients. Okay, well I have two different two, two different price structures if you would. Uh, when I do a design project it's a hundred fifty dollar consultation fee mm -hmm. and if we decide to proceed if you know everybody's on board the client will get a hundred fifty dollar credit. Okay. Okay. Uh, now my staging consult fee is $200 mm -hmm. and they'll also get a credit. Now the 
general package for staging. That normally runs about 3,000. Now, if the person wants certain things in their house, and if I have to go out and get them, yeah. then it's going to be more. But normally it's 3,000, you know, with a $200 consult fee. And that includes me bringing the furniture, setting it up, and there's also a rental fee. Okay. Uh, a rental fee of $200 per month. But normally, uh, a state's house, my observation, normally sells within two months. So they won't be out, you know, they won't be out too much money. So does it matter of the size of the house? Like, is it an apartment or a condo or like a big mansion? Okay, uh, that's a very good question. Now, I, to date, I haven't had to do a mansion. Okay. Like I said, if I had to go out and get more furniture, it would run more money. But on the average, I normally stage like a three, four bedroom house. Okay. I haven't done like mansions uh, as of yet. Oh, okay. Okay. So what I want to, actually another question just arise for me. <clears throat> oh, sure. Um, mm -hmm. That, so like how long, I mean, like do you do one or house at a time or do you do two houses? Like how does it vary for you? Um, like I said, I know it's day to day, it's different. Um, in terms of, because not everybody is staging their house right. every day. But, like, I would say, like, th during the month, maybe, or two months, how many would you be able to stage a house? Like, how many houses would you do? Well, I can comfortably accommodate two houses at once. Okay. At, at present. At present. And like I said, if it's a large house, I can accommodate that comfortably. Like I said, if it's a large house. But uh, I can comfortably accommodate two houses at once. So folks, you need, if you need to get your house staged um, before it gets sold, uh, like I said, this is the guy here. <laughs> but you need to talk to Julian Touchstone. Um, he is from New Jersey. Uh, he presently resides in the Turnton, Hamilton, uh, New Jersey area. And again, his uh, email is if you would like to reach him for um, any questions you have about your home or um, getting furniture, or like I said, getting your house staged, uh, you can email him at julian.touchstone at verizon.net. And if you would like to reach him by phone, it's area code 609-695-4499. In our last note, Julian, can you tell us what, um, like how are you so passionate about staging the client's home and like what do you get out of this okay I get satisfaction when I see the client is happy but I also get a certain amount of satisfaction at seeing my work being done okay and I am passionate about staging and design yeah I you like I said I'm, it's a very interesting topic that um, that we have been talking today um, at the studio and like I said you are like I said I do feel the energy uh, very positive energy coming from you mm -hmm. about that you are like really into this work yes I so am. congratulations to that thank you for that and best of luck to you thank you for uh, future endeavors thank you and one actually one last question I wanted to ask you <laughs> sure um, before we um, end our segment today. Has any of your work has been published? Oh, uh, some of my work is on the site, the Howls site. So okay. You can see some of my work there. So you go to Howls.com. Howls.com. Yeah, okay. and some of my work is out there. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay. So again, folks, um, if you need to, like I said, renovate your home, this is the guy who you need to talk to, Julian Touchstone, and right away give him a call because <laughs> um, he like I said we want to support our community as well as the local businesses that are in the tri-state area so like I said this is the guy who you need to speak to again he is on Facebook um, he his name is Julian Touchstone and by the way you're not related to the Touchstone pictures. No, <laughs> no relation, no relation. <laughs> so, um, 
but like I said, he, uh, again, the number is, if you need to call him, the telephone number is area code 609-695-4499. Uh, any last words you would like to share with our viewers today? Uh, I would like to thank everyone for tuning in, and I'd like to thank you especially for inviting me on the show. You are very welcome. Okay. Thank you. Hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday. Take care, and God bless. See you at the same time, same place next week.